Hi. In our previous video, we looked at solving equations where the unknown appeared on both sides of the equation. In today's video, we're going to look at some more complex versions of those equations. So let's begin. The first type of problem that we're going to explore today is where we have the x value appearing inside of brackets on either side of the equation. So here we have 3 multiplied by everything inside this bracket, the x plus 4. That's equal to this side here where we've got 2 times everything inside the brackets, which is the 1 minus x. Our primary goal here for these more complex problems remain the same as our simpler problems. We want to isolate the x on one side of the equation. To do that here, we must first expand each side of the equation out of its factorised form. Factorised form is when a number is divided out of each term and put at the front of the brackets, like we have here. To expand the brackets, we must multiply by this number at the front here with every term inside of the brackets. So this 3 must first multiply with the x here, which will give us 3x. Then it must also multiply with the 4 here, giving us plus 12. On the right hand side here, this 2 must also multiply with this 1, which will give us 2 times 1, which is 2. And it has to also multiply with this negative x. 2 times negative x is take 2x. From here, we need to isolate the x value to one side of the equation. I'm going to remove the x value from the right hand side in order to keep a positive x value in the equation. To do this, I must complete the inverse of this subtract 2x. The inverse of the subtract 2x is to plus 2x, which will cancel it out here on the right hand side and leave us just with our 2. However, whatever we do to one side of the equation, to keep it balanced, we must do to the other. So we also must plus 2x to the left hand side here, giving us 5x total, plus the original 12, which will equal that 2. From here, I must now isolate this x value on the left hand side. In order to do that, I must perform the inverse operations of this plus 12, which is to take 12. Subtracting 12 to the left hand side will cancel these two values out, leaving us just with this 5x. However, to keep our equation balanced, we must also subtract 12 from the right hand side. 2 subtract 12 will give us negative 10. Finally, we must isolate the x value by dividing by 5. We divide by 5 because this 5 is multiplying the x. 5 divided by 5 will cancel out and leave us with the x on the left hand side. To keep things balanced on the right hand side, I must also divide by 5. Negative 10 divided by 5 will be negative 2. Therefore, we've found that our x value is negative 2. Like in our previous videos, we can now perform a check step to see if we're correct. To do this, we substitute our value we found for x, negative 2, back into the original equation. So we have 3 bracket our negative 2 value plus 4 bracket should equal 2 open bracket 1 minus our x value of negative 2 close the bracket on the right hand side here we are subtracting a negative number that is the same as adding this 2 to the 1 so therefore we can write this right hand side as 2 open your bracket 1 plus 2 and close bracket. Now we just solve each side. So first of all we do the insides of the brackets. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. On the right hand side here 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 does equal 6 so we've found the correct solution. Here in front of me now are two more of these styles of questions that you can have a go at yourself. Remember, to check your answer you can perform a check step to ensure that both sides balance. The next question we are going to explore today is when we have a fraction on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side here we have 3x plus 4 all divided by 2 that equals the right hand side of 2x subtract 1 all divided by 5. Our goal here is the same as previously, 
to isolate the x value on one side of the equation. To achieve this, we must first simplify the equation by removing these fractions. To do this, we must find a common factor between the two denominators of each fraction. So here, it's the common factor between the two and the five. There are several ways you can find the common factor, but one way that will always work is if you multiply the bottoms of these fractions together. So two times five is 10, so 10 is a common factor between these two numbers. Once this common factor has been found, we need to multiply each side of the fraction by the common factor. When we multiply a fraction by a whole number like we have here, we can record it down like I have below. It's good to record it this way because we can now easily see that we can cancel it down by going 10 divided by 2 on the left hand side which will give us 5. That 5 still has to multiply everything inside the brackets. And on the right hand side we can cancel that one down by going 10 divided by 5 which is 2 and once again that still has to multiply everything inside the brackets. Now we have ourselves a problem that looks like the ones we just completed. So we next need to expand each bracket by multiplying the front number with every term inside. 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times 4 is going to be 20, and it's a plus 20. 2 times 2x will be 4x. 2 times negative 1 will be negative 2. Our next job is going to be to isolate the x's. So if I subtract 4x on the right hand side, that will cancel that down and leave me with negative 2. But I must also subtract 4x to the left hand side, which will give me 11x there. I still have my plus 20 on the left hand side. Next, I need to remove the plus 20. So I need to subtract 20 from the left hand side, which will give us just the 11x. I also need to subtract 20 from the right hand side, which will give us negative 22. Finally, to get the x on its own, I need to divide by 11, because the 11 is multiplying the x, which will just give us the x on the left hand side. I must also divide the negative 22 by 11, so that will equal negative 2. As with all these problems, we can check our solution via substitution. So if we substitute our negative 2 back into the original equation, we can then solve those, that equation to make sure that it balances. So on the right hand side here, I have 2 multiplied by a negative 2, take 1, all over 5. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus our 4, all divided by our 2, should equal our 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. Subtract 1, all over our 5. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Over 2, should equal negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Over 5, minus 2 divided by 2 is going to be negative 1. That should equal minus 5 divided by 5, which is negative 1. Negative 1 does equal negative 1, so we've found the correct solution. I now have two more problems here for you for you to have a go at yourself. Remember that you can always check your solutions by substituting the x value that you find back into the original equation. When you solve it, that should still balance. Thank you for watching.